It's Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the AFC West. It's the Raiders and the Broncos coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the foot of the Rockies, just west of downtown Denver, to power field at mile high. Just a short time ago, sounds loud enough to reverberate across the Rockies. They're ready for football in Denver as the Broncos get set to do battle with the Las Vegas Raiders. Brandon God alongside my good friend Charles Davis. Now Charles, so often it's the quarterbacks that are in the spotlight, and in this game, no different. We have a very compelling matchup. And both of them have terrific ability to improvise, and that means when the first read's not there, how quickly can you go through your progressions? Can you hang in there and take a shot as you release it? Can you buy time outside of the pocket? Can you pull it down and run if need be? I think we'll see all of those traits on display in this one. from Denver. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the former Cal Bear, Aaron Rodgers. There have been very few quarterbacks in the NFL who have been as consistent throughout their career as Aaron Rodgers. He's been good for so long, and we've seen no decline in his skills. His accuracy and arm strength continue to elevate the talent around him, and his in-game mistakes, few and far between. They begin with a run by Davis. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. That's a really nice, tough run inside. And they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Now here's Davis to run again on second. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. And he will have the Broncos first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. So how would you describe that one, partner? Working life right there, getting that first down, blue-collar type football. Yeah, only needed three, got four, just enough. I like workman life. I think it's pretty cool myself. Everything doesn't have to be high glamour in this game. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's a give to Davis. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now a handoff to Davis. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. 
Call on a nickel set for third down. Throwing is Rodgers. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Thomas. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver trying to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. On the carry, it's Davis. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And when you get good yards like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now it's Davis, and tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Davis, they'll try to run for it. And Davis, he's not going to get there. Unable to make it to the yellow line, they stop him short. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. This was the old NFL record distance for decades. A 63-yard attempt. And that is no good. Oh, he missed it just wide of the upright. And this will remain a scoreless game. Partner doesn't seem like it, but that's a tough spot for a kicker. First drive of the game, and they're calling on it. He should be warmed up. He should be into the game, but sometimes... It's almost like, oh, what, now already? Can't they put it in the end zone? What's going on here? Yeah, he's probably saying, if you can't get it in the end zone, can you give me a 30, 40-yarder? <laughs> a long one, and he can't connect. Well, this offense got to be loving this. After the long miss field goal, they'll take over on the other side of the 50. First and 10. Throwing to start the drive. McMahon. It's a short one here. Complete to the tight end. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Brings up second down. Just a couple here with a marker on the field as well. So he was holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Back to throw. McMahon escaping the pressure right. Finding room inside the 40. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Partner, it's often the man coverage is easier for a quarterback to run against. You get your receivers going downfield. Those guys are staying with them, and oftentimes they have their back to the quarterback, which opens up a lot of space and room, and they don't even know that he's taken off with it. What a big-time pickup on that play. So 
So a first and 10 now in Denver territory. Down at the 31. Looking to throw. McMahon, he stiff arms him. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Six yards left on second down. Play action. McMahon. This is Reese on the ground. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 15-yard line. It's pretty easy to overlook the fullback when you're making your assignments defensively in the pass coverage game. But in this case, they made them pay for that oversight and picks up a nice gain. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And the Raiders are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Well, he did everything but get him in the end zone there, but now they're set up. Golden opportunity. Strong opening drive, and they're knocking on the door. And the way that they did it. Now, look where they are on the field. All right, this is naturally set up for a running play, isn't it? But with his ability to throw the football, his accuracy on this drive, you know, I want to think about a pass play in this situation. Ooh, interesting. Time win. to find out. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now, and it's Las Vegas with the football as they go to work on a first and goal. This is Allen, and he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Taking it in from two yards out as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in, have to report like they're eligible, but all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. The try here for the extra point. And that makes it 7-zip Vegas. A drive that time of six plays. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. Now they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there, we've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? The first down carry for Davis. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. But from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. On second and seven, Rodgers. 
being chased out left. And he'll slide to a halt here, still a little shy of the first down marker. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Rodgers. And the Raiders have got him. Max Crosby drops him for a four-yard loss there, and that brings up fourth down. Was it a breakdown of protection? Did the running back not pick him up? It doesn't really matter. Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. The Broncos send out their punter now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. Let's go. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Raiders will take over now first and 10. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I and mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. They'll start here with Jackson. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play, and it'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Back to throw now on second and 10. He finds his man complete. It's Christensen. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And he is going to have the Raiders' go, first baby. down Let's as go. they're able to get the third down conversion. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. down. It's Allen. Allen hit. He lost the football. It's picked up by the Broncos. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. <laughs> but the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Rodgers. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 
after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Broncos with their first trip to the red zone thus far. They've got a first and 10 from the 10. Now Rodgers. And that is incomplete. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Rodgers. He's got Smith here. Touchdown, Broncos! From ten yards out. And the Broncos are an extra point away from tying the football game. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. Extra point attempt to follow here. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And the gadget play gets him into the end zone. They kick it away. Jackson now to return. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That could be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. They start the drive with a give to Allen. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. Eight yards to go on second down. They'll try the left side. It's Allen. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. It's a catch. It's a big play there for Vegas. Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. And I can't imagine this defense thought they'd see a play like this on third and short. If you're going to beat a defense deep, you got to catch them when they're not expecting it. That was the perfect time to do it, and it paid off big. And the final number on Next Gen Stats, how about this? 71 yards through the air. Throwing on first down. McMahon. 
to the end zone, but it's incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Back to throw. McMahon eluding the pressure right. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. 1.57 to go in this first half on EA Sports. gun on third down. McMahon. This will be caught at about the five. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. the field goal team here as the Raiders will try for three. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And this one is right through. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. And Denver getting set to take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Rodgers now on first down. And this one complete to Smith. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. First down now, but that clock rolling. To throw is Rodgers. He's got his man sharp, complete. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Seven yards to pick up there. That tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 43. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Rodgers. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. 
back to the air on second down. It's Rodgers going for the deep ball. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down, now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Rodgers to throw once more. Airing it out deep for Smith. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And all the way home for the Broncos score. A big play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Broncos have retaken the lead. That could be an important swing right there. Touchdown of the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is now 14 to 10. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it ends with a Denver touchdown. team on the field now as they will send this one away. Jackson now to return. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! The Raider offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. down. McMahon. And a quick throw here. That's complete. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. throw on second down. McMahon. Wide open receiver complete. We got now the this. Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Looking to throw. McMahon. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Easy to tell who they're targeting on this drive. He caught the first two passes, but then this time unable to hook up. But I don't think that that stops them from continuing to go back to him, do you? No. I mean, they've got a, they've got a plan. They're trying to execute it. And after that second catch, I saw him in the huddle. He said, hey, let's go back <laughs> one more time. Didn't work there. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Back to throw again. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. A lot of contact there, but there was no way it appeared that he was going to get a flag on that one. Looking for it, but he wasn't going to get it. And as an ex-defensive back, you love it when they let you play and jostle downfield. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. 
Again, he'll drop to throw. He's going deep for Brown. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's gonna bring up fourth down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. And the punter's on the sideline. Here's the field goal unit now to try an exceptionally long one. This to equal Matt Prater's record. It's a 64-yard attempt. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And with Rodgers behind center, you wonder if they'll take one shot at this. And they're just gonna run it here up the middle. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Yeah, baby! Yeah. So we're at halftime here in Denver with the Broncos leading this one. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. First up, though, a look at the next-gen stats for the Raiders in that first half. And despite the fact that they're down on the scoreboard, they were able to have some success throwing the football in that opening half. Meanwhile, for the Broncos, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. third quarter of action and here comes a return from just beyond the goal line and he'll be dropped at the 21 yard line so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision loses him about four yards the Raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter and they do trail but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it and that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game no but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline First and 10, McMahon, he's going to float this one deep right side. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. But you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those. But the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Throwing again. McMahon. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. 
He couldn't get away. He'll wind up losing a dozen yards, a 12-yard loss, and it brings up third. Well, here's where having mobility sometimes can work against you as a quarterback. He thinks he can retreat and outrun the pressure. But that time, they zeroed in on him and took him down for a big loss, partner. A really big loss. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Back to throw. McMahon. And that will be incomplete. It appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened, having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. So from their own end zone here, this kicks away. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Broncos take over, first down and 10. at the line, ready to go. On first down, Rodgers. Smith catches left side. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again, he picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him, double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 27. This is Davis, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Coming up on second and seven. They'll run it again here with Davis. And down inside the 15 he goes. 42 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Hey, check mark 15. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. This is caught, and he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Well, this is a defense that's definitely on their heels now because they gave up the running play for good yardage one play ago. Now the pass here sets this offense up first and goal. They're going to have to dig in strong now because they've been in retreat so far on this drive. This offense on the march. Davis is going backwards here, all the way back to the five-yard line. It's a loss of four on the first down play. Well, it's apparent the defense understands the situation. They have to keep them out of the end zone here. That's a great start by them. A loss on that play. Can they force them into a field goal attempt and still give their offense an opportunity? In the backfield, standing alone here on second and goal is Davis. He'll get it up the middle. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. <laughs> I have to laugh a little bit because 
he actually handed it off. I thought with the two touchdown passes he's thrown in this one already, he'd go ahead and fling and try and get a third one. Yeah, now from this spot on third down, I think he'd probably throw it here. Yeah, I don't think there's any question about it. They, they won't even send in a running play here, I don't believe. I think they go ahead and try and throw it for a touchdown. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. And his kick is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So he missed that field goal earlier, but he says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. I like his poise. I like his confidence, his belief in himself. Sometimes when you miss that first one, you see a lot of guys sag and they can't make the next one. Not in this case. Stepped right up like a pro. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll just take a seat in the drive when we get at the 25-yard line. Las Vegas' offense back out there, ready to go. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. They'll begin the drive with Jackson on the ground. Yeah, he did a nice job to spin out of that first way, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped, but what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, and ends up spilling it for a loss. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. They run again with Jackson. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. A nickel set defensively for the Broncos here on third down. Looking to throw. McMahon. This will be caught by Brown. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. Brandon, a good idea there on third down. Run a little clear out and hope you can get your receiver the ball coming across the formation. Nice design, but well played defensively, and they stop him well short. Las Vegas sending out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And the football going back over to the Denver Broncos. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Rodgers now on first down. To the right side and complete to Thomas. 
They'll contain him to just four, second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag round on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. A couple of extra defensive bats in the ball game here on third and six. Working from the gun, Rodgers. And that is incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find him. Find him. The Broncos send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They're trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 30. And the Broncos are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. So it'll be a change of possession on the turnover when we get back. You're watching the NFL on...